Question three. This question is the reactions between the permanganate uh, electrode and the magnesium electrode. We're going to use some of the values here later. Um, part A. An electrochemical cell can be constructed from magnesium ion and magnesium half cell and manganese with uh, Mn2 positive half cell. So therefore, we need to use the first one and the last one right? for the calculations later. Uh, part 1. Define standard electrode potential. Include details of the standard condition are the details. First, what is the electrode's potential? So electrode potential means uh, all this, all the values here. And these one, they are all different types of electrodes. And these electrodes, they have different potential. Uh, how we get all this potential? So we can get all this potential when these electrodes is connected to SHE. Connected to SHE. So when all these half cell or this electrode is uh, connects to this uh, standard hydrogen electrode, this one, then we will know their electrode potential. That's why when you try to uh, define uh, this standard electrode potential, you must relate to standard hydrogen electrode. Okay, now let's start. The wattage that produced by a half cell means all this half cell compared with the standard hydrogen electrode means compared to this SHE and this one must happen under standard condition so what is the standard condition then so it must be 298 Kelvin 1 ATM and this is very important the concentration of the solution must be all oh, one mole per dm cube. Okay, this is the details of the standard conditions. Part two, complete the diagram below to show the electrochemical cell constructed from this two half cell. So this one is uh, quite easy to draw because uh, not really involve a gas electrode. So let's say the left hand side we uh, draw the magnesium half cell and the other one is the uh, permanganate half cell. So we know that uh, this one is a magnesium electrode itself with its solution. So we must put magnesium plate and it must, uh, it must uh, together with its own solution means uh, magnesium solution one mole per dm cube another half cell is the permanganate ion uh, if you not really sure what is a species involved you can always uh, refer to the table in the half cell it must it must has this permanganate ion mn2 ions or solution and the acid so means these three species it must be one mole per dm cube so you just put permanganate and mn2 and the uh, h plus so they are all equals and all need to be one mole per dm cube and of course the uh, the plates or the electrode we use is platinum so after that, you draw the salt bridge, and of course you draw the this uh, the watt meter, and you just link them together, together, or you complete the circuits, right? Okay, this is the full drawing uh, for this uh, electrochemical cell. So now use a positive and negative sign to identify the polarity of each of two electrodes in your diagram, and uh, you need to draw the arrow and with the symbol E means the electron show the direction 
Uh, first, you need to uh, use the or refer to the values of this uh, electrode in table. Uh, the magnesium electrode is negative uh, 2.38. Permanganate is positive uh, 1.52. So we know that this is more negative means uh, it's the one that always release electron. And this one is the one that gains electron. More positive, uh, the E0 it will uh, gain electrons easily. So from here we know that magnesium half cell is the one that release electron and this is the one that gains electron. So the one that release electron means the magnesium uh, half cell is the one that more negative means uh, because it's produced electron so it's going to be a negative terminal. The one that produces electron again, the one that produces electron is always a negative because it's electron rich. Then the one that gains electron is electron deficient, so it's a positive terminal. So you need to draw this uh, this arrow from this magnesium half cell to the permanganate half cell. Okay, show this direction and electron. Part four. Calculate the standard uh, cell potential for this uh, cell. Uh, so to calculate the E0 cell, we need to use the uh, E0 cathode minus the E0 uh, anode. So the cathode, uh, you need to know which one is cathode. The one that gains electron is the one that undergo reduction. So this is a cathode. The one that produces electron means it's self-oxidized, so it's undergo oxidation, so this is anode. Means we know that magnesium uh, half cell is the anode and the uh, permanganate half cell is the cathode. So you just use their values and calculate. So it's 1.52, this is a permanganate's uh, uh, the potential, and minus negative 2.38 uh, volt, so you get uh, 3.9 volt. So this one is the the in cell for this uh, this uh, uh, overall cell. Now, uh, part five, construct an equation for this cell reaction. Uh, this one is very easy. Uh, you need to get the two half equation. Um, make sure electrons number they are the same. So the permanganate half cell you need to times two, make it ten electrons. Of course, only to times two. And the uh, <clears throat> magnesium half cell need to times 5, make it 10 electron also. So after that, combine both and you'll get this one. Right? Okay, part 6. Predict how the cell reaction will change. Cell reaction. If at all, when the solution in the, this magnesium half cell is diluted by addition of large volume of water. So first, uh, you need to understand the reaction is actually the same. So there will be no change in the cell reaction means the same redox reaction will still happen. Means the magnesium still oxidize and the permanganate still will get reduced even though water added because it's as cell reaction, not the cell potential. The reaction is still works as usual, same reaction, but the potential for this half cell is changed. Why? When this uh, magnesium ion get uh, uh, diluted, means when the solution get diluted, we know that the concentration of this magnesium ions uh, is lesser. So means the magnesium try to form or try to replenish this magnesium ion means the equilibrium will shift to left. When equilibrium shift to left means it's try to release electron. When it's release electron means the the e uh, means the e cell for this magnesium the electrode will be more negative. Means the electrode potential. 
So this one, electrode potential for magnesium electrode, it becomes more negative because it's released electrons now when it gets diluted. And if let's say now it's asked, what is the effects on the uh, this uh, the uh, potential of the cell? So we know that if this one is become more negative, then the E cell will increase. Why? Because this one is ended. When this one become more negative, means uh, when it's minus a more negative uh, potential, so this one will become more positive. Means the E cell will increase. Uh, so this is just uh, just uh, the extra. Let's say let's say they asked what is the effect on the E cell. Uh, this is the the relations between them, right? Okay. Of course, here is the the last one is uh, the dilution will make the the uh, actually it's not E not E not is standard. So it's E. Uh, the potential for this magnesium electrode become more negative, right? So the E not is just for the standard condition because after dilution is not a standard condition, so therefore you just put E, right? Uh, the magnesium ion over magnesium. So this potential electro potential will become more negative. Part B, a molten magnesium salt is electrolyzed for 15 minutes by a constant current. 4.75 times 10 power, the, uh, power of 22 magnesium atoms are produced at the cathode. Calculate the values of the current used. So this one you have to be careful because it's given numbers of atoms. So in order to get the most of magnesium that uh, deposited, you need to use the numbers of atom over the Avogadro constant. So eventually you get 0 0.0789 mole. In order to deposit uh, the magnesium ion, so it needs to use two electrons. So it means uh, one mole of magnesium ion needs two moles of electron. In order to calculate this one uh, fast, so you can actually you can use this uh, this relation, Q equal to I T. Uh, so this is the charge that involved, and this is the current that used and time involved. Uh, Q actually you can use this one to uh, to represent that. So it's the N Z F. So N is the most of the the metal that form. And Z is the electrons that involve. And the F is a Faraday constant. I is, of course, current in ampere. And T is the time in second. So after that, uh, because in this question is one to ask the I, so you just bring this T to uh, another side. So therefore, you just substitute the N, Z, F. So N is already calculated. The mole of magnesium that get deposited 0 0.0789 uh, z is the two here right so times uh, Faraday constant over the time time is uh, 15 minutes we convert to second 15 times 60 so you get 16.9 ampere okay that's all thank you